Yo, guys, Thunder here. We're back with some more Destiny on the PS4. And as you saw it last time, uh, we picked a Titan this time. Um, I am put, got another character, Warlock. If you feel free, if you want to see that, I think that'll be my multiplayer one. I don't know, we'll see. But the Titan one's going to be my story mode one. In the warlock, it will be my one that I play with my friend. Um, There's a ship. Clear but I should have just recorded while me and him were playing throughout the whole time. So that would have been that would have been fun to do. But it's hard to do that with the low space I have on my laptop. Well, not low space. I'm just saying my game capture card can only record up to four gigabytes. So. Gotta kind of watch that. So, that's the only issue about that. But we will play through Titan and Warlock. And what I'll do is I'll beat through Titan. Then once we get through Titan, delete that character. And then we'll play through Hunter. And then we'll play the Warlock and just kind of show you the difference between the two. I think the Warlock one will be more of the multiplayer stuff. Is what I think we're gonna do. Punch, punch, punch. Love that. <laughs> get wrecked, son. All right. Let me see if I can get us out of here. Nice. Get me out of here, bro. Been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. Cool. Man. Alright, let me know in the comments down below. Does this game remind you of a series that you used to watch a long time ago? I, this reminds me of Star Wars. It's like the ships for Star Wars, uh, Borderlands with the weapon sounding, and the Halo with the body armor and all that good stuff. So it's got a mixture of three of those games. Uh, you might want to get me in there, bro. I'm not gonna fight all that shit. That guy's like, fuck you, Thunder. Kill you when I get a chance. Now, what I've heard about this game, everybody's bringing this game down a lot. I mean, I don't know what it is with the next-gen games, but they're so hyped, and then they sudden just get wrecked. Like, for example, Titanfall. That game was the most hyped game that just died completely um, hopefully this game does not reach that same pay I like it we get a trophy there um, I like the game I don't know about what about you it's a I think it's considered a massive multiplayer online game because you can only play this game online you can't play it single player offline which is a bummer but it's all good Okay, we're playing Star Wars now. And look at those graphics. You wouldn't know. If you didn't see the title of this game, what do you guys think it would be? 
they showed the trailers. It didn't say the name of the game. It didn't show us the name. You would think this would be the next Star Wars game, to Welcome be honest. To the last safe city on Earth. The only place the traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. And this tower... So glad I didn't play much of the beta, though. Been avoiding the story that other YouTubers have played quite a bit, so I don't have to see it. Sorry for the button, it's getting hot in here. Man, it was a long ass loading screen. There we go. This is where you purchase all your weapons and whatnot. I'm sure you guys already know. Um, get bounties, you get all kinds of stuff, so that's probably what I should be working on. Um, I mean, we could, I guess we could keep the Titan character, and then we'll just use the last slot as Hunter, and then we'll show you the Warlock. Just to see the different classes in action. So, that's what it is there. Let's get to it. Man, I wish I was a level 20. Already then. And there's going to be a lot of grinding to this game as well to level up. So you, I will not view, show you any of that. But every new story we do we will play through. So you, so you can see it. That's the way I'm going to record Destiny with. Is every new story we go into every new level we go into we'll play it and record it now if we gotta do any grinding then I won't record that but probably show some multiplayer I guess too I don't know we'll see I'm not a big fan of multiplayer anymore cause I get wrecked in COD get wrecked in COD Just trying to figure out the controlling on this game. It's I'm f I'm new. This is probably like the first day it came out. Pretty much, I'm playing it. What's up? I've got my eye on you. Just kind of looking around. And if you guys are interested, I will be live streaming this when me and my buddy play. So if you want to check the Warlock, that's what I got. I think I'm a level 15. 
16 on route for now. Um, but I'm only like a level one right now on here, but or two. But going through some of the Morty, Morty, going through some of the story with my buddy Ray, and holy crap, it gets hard. So I'm gonna have a hard time doing this solo. So probably a lot of leveling up is gonna be guaranteed before I go in. Because when me and him play it, I'm always two levels under, and I think we're gonna want to be a level. Same level or a level up <laughs> to go and complete those stories or those missions. So that would be the plan of action. I know the gameplay is not exciting as of right now, but it will be once we get going. Um, it's just learning the controls, learning the concept of the game, and how it's played, and all that good stuff. So, bear with me. We'll get through this together like we were as a family, trying to get through another family event that you don't want to be at. You right? Am I right? There is at least one event you don't want to be at, trust me. I've had a few growing up. <laughs> I didn't want to go, but I had to go. And it's the spaceship stuff. <sighs> spaceship stuff. And to add on to it. So yeah, I pre-ordered my Advanced Warfare. I got it for the PS3. Don't judge me. Alright. I know the PS4 is where it's at. But my buddy got it, his pre-ordered it on PS3. And plus it's easier to dual commentary on that. Once I fix my PS4 with the fan and figure out how to dual commentary with that, we might have to use Skype. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I can get it to work with the Rexio and I'll record his voice. Like it does on the PS4. Uh, PS3, but we'll see. But we're going on to the next mission now. We're going to the Restoration. Going into the Restoration. The only downside to this, the flying takes forever. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city with that one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen ones. We can do it again. Yeah, we can, bro. We'll get through this. I'm really thinking about getting Garden Warfare, too. Let's see if my buddy Ray will get that. The Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. So we gotta salvage parts for our spaceship. Alright. Challenge accepted. You know, I streamed this the last couple days and I played it for four hours and nobody watched me stream. It's crazy. I want to say I got more. Well, I don't do it much, but I got probably got a lot more views on YouTube than I do on my Twitch. I only got maybe 200 views. That's about it. I'm just trying to level up. Correct, son. That guy scared the crap out of me, and I started shooting at him.
Thanks, bro. Back up into my wiener, dude. They managed to restore an information hub here. It's down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. Okay, Broski Jones, let's go check that out. Yay, more enemies. More fallen to destroy. Oh shit. <laughs> I said that did more pop out. Punch in the face. Damn, there's more. Boom. Getting up in my grill, man. A map of the entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive so we can jump to any planet or moon. Only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. Serious? All that work for nothing. We gotta go back where we found this ship. Nice going, game. Give you a five out of ten for that effort. <sighs> 